Mike, the Golden State Picker, here from my living room in front of the computer, giving you another video. This one I have to run from the computer screen. It's talking about a really hot subject right now. Uh, we're going to talk about VHS videotapes, specifically classics sealed in the plastic. We're going to talk about that today. I have two of them, and I'm, two of them that I'm going to show you that I found. And we're going to tell you how I found them, my thought on VHS tapes, what might be going on, that kind of thing, and then what they sold for. So it's going to be a minute before you see what the, the two tapes are uh, once we get going here. So uh, hang in there, hang in there. You're going to get to know what they are in a second. Got to have a little bit of suspense involved here. But first, I want to give you kind of a synopsis of why I came into these two particular VHS tapes. Something simple so you can kind of understand where it came from. First, it started with me watching Don the Auction Professor one night. I saw his video on the top 20 VHS tapes and it caught my interest. It also caught my interest because he talked about a company called IGS. IGS is an investment grade ser grading service. They grade videotapes and I think video games, that kind of thing. And I learned it from Don. So it kind of piqued my interest, all of that. And I filed all that away in my little brain. You know, I didn't have any VHS tapes at the time. And I know that they're out there. I know there's some interesting ones out there. I also know that there's a lot of people say that they are scams, i.e. the Disney Diamond uh, videos. We'll talk about that in a second, right? So I take Don's little information. I file it in my brain like I do when I watch other pickers because, hey, there's a lot of great pickers out there and I want to take a little bit from everybody's video and I build this like little computer bank up here that helps me throughout my day as I'm uh, picking. So Don, Don help me out here. So if you don't know who I am, I like to do books on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I buy what they call a Gaylord of books and I sort them, I scan them, and then I throw them on Amazon. This particular day I was down doing some sorting and up on the dock, the main dock, uh, these pickers also buy um, other things besides the books. And this one picker who knows me says, hey Mike, come up here, I've got some books in this bin. I don't need any of these books. You can have them if you want them. So I said, sure, I'll come up and look. So I went up and looked. None of the books were any good, they were no good. But there were some VHS tapes in there. And I managed to pull a couple of tapes out. And I said, okay, I'll take these. I went down, just put them on the front seat of my car, and I continued to scan my books, not thinking about those tapes until later in the day when I decided I'll take a look at them and see what they're worth. That's where I started to get a little bit more curious. When I started to look these up, I started to say, hey, I think these two tapes, I have them. They meet certain criteria. They might be worth some money. So I kept, kept that in the back of my mind. And then I started doing some research on it and, uh, you know, I thought, okay, it looks pretty promising, but it wasn't holding my breath because we all know about stuff like this. So we take a look here. Let's take a look. We all know about the Disney Black Diamond. We've all heard these stories about this is like money laundering, all kinds of stuff. Nobody pays $14,000 for a Black Diamond edition, $10,000 for Beauty and the Beast, uh, you know, $9,500 for Disney, The Little Mermaid. You know, who's paying that kind of money for VHS, right? Certainly looks suspicious. And it just, it, they stick up there. We don't know. It, with everything that goes on with eBay, we never have any idea if these are real, fake, or whatever. You just, you just don't have any idea. So that played in my mind. And I was like, okay, maybe I got something. Maybe I don't. You know, how about, remember this? How about these? The same situation with the McDonald's, right? The McDonald's Thai Beanie Babies. You know, $14,500 for one retired August 30th sold. You know, I've got four of these in my shed. And we've all kind of maybe tried to put these up to see if we could get us hit off these. Uh, it's just bizarre, right? So all of that was kind of playing in my head. And so I needed to figure out how I could do this. So I thought to myself, let's have them graded, right? You get them graded, that's legit. Maybe then I've got legitimacy of these two tapes. You'll see these two tapes in a minute. So you'll, you'll see them in, in a minute, but I don't want to spoil that part just yet. So I go to the company IGS. Here they are, IGS, and they call themselves IGS is to VHS what PSA is to trading cards, trading cards. So they grade these. 
So I thought, okay, I'm gonna send it in. And on his website, it said, hey, uh, I'm taking submissions. This was in early October. He says, I'm not taking submissions till October 22nd. Uh, and at that point, you can put them in. And then from about then, it takes about 90 days. And I was thinking, okay, I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to give him a shot. So October 22nd rolls around. Unfortunately, he pushes it out to November 1st. And I'm thinking, uh, I'll give it a little bit longer. So I start looking this weekend to see what's going on. And I notice he pushes it out to December 14th. So I'm thinking, this, what's going on with this guy? I mean, this guy's a one-man band, a one-man show. And, and we don't know. These websites, you could think that they got 20 employees or it could just be him working out of his bedroom. You have no clue. No clue. So I basically thought, oh my gosh, 45 more days plus 90. That's like four or five months. Forget it. You don't even know if December 14th rolls around and he doesn't push it out even more. Maybe he's working a deal behind the scenes. I, I have no idea. So now I'm just, my suspicions just keep growing. You know, I've just got two videotapes and what am I going to do with them? So then all of a sudden, Saturday comes along and Kevin the Commonwealth Picker puts an Instagram post up that he sold Willow VHS for $1,750. And I go, whoa, I go, there you go, that's cool. So I got on the phone, I text Kevin, I said, hey, Kevin, real, right? He goes, yeah, real. I said, are you worried about scammer? No, everything looks solid. Kevin tells me, Kevin's a better picker than me. So I say, cool, $1,750. Now, I have been talking to my best friend over here who's a picker for 20 years, really, really a good guy. And we're trying to pick our brain about all these high priced $20,000 CD VHS tapes selling, like we said, the Disney Diamond, Star Wars, all of these, and we're trying to figure this out. Are they selling? Are this a scam? What is this? The only way we're gonna find out, the only way was we were gonna have to put the tapes up. I was gonna have to forego IGS, I just didn't feel comfortable with them. And you'll see some things here I'll show you in a minute. Right, I'll show you right now. So on Reddit, I, I started to dig on IGS just to see. And then there's some people talking, you know, and this is, now I'm not bashing IGS. They could be extra, legit. This is just what people on Reddit were saying. This was just adding to my confusion about VHS tapes. Is anyone falling for IGS, right? And, then, and this guy here is talking about hilarious. There's a company that is charging thousands of dollars for the most common VHS around. They are called IGS. They buy, sell, and grade VHS. Talk about an obvious conflict of interest. It brings up a point, right? Maybe the guy buys the tapes, he grades his own. I, I don't know, right? So, But this is on Reddit. There's another one on Reddit. And there you go, another one. Here's another scam grading company to be aware of. And you know, all, these are all these people's opinions, but it's on Reddit and it's out there. So it's out there. So I was very skeptical of IGS. And I said, let me just forego them. It's just gonna be four or five months. Who knows what kind of mess I'm gonna get into there. So I said, no, we're gonna have to put them up. So, so, so last night, so today is, just so you know, is October 31st, Halloween. And yesterday was Saturday. So I decided, let's, let's go ahead and put these tapes up. And let's see, I told my friend, let's put them up. We'll see what happens. Here comes the tapes. Took a while, but I'm getting to them. All right, first tape I found. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Okay, that was the first one. The second one that I found in that bin, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And those two are the ones that I found. So, the interesting thing about this is, let me see if I can go over here and, and uh, show you. Uh, let me do eBay. Let me get into eBay here. Let me go Raiders of the Lost Ark VHS tape. So when you first start to look at this, you know, you look at this as the lowest price here. And I decide, you know, let's go for the highest, obviously. So I go highest first. And you come over here. Then I want to know, uh, you know, just kind of looking here, if I, if mine is in there. So you see, look at 34.5, 28.5, here, here you go. I'm confused, it's all get out, right? I mean, we're back, right back to Disney Diamond. Are these legitimate people gonna sell these? We'll take a look at the solds in a second because mine's gonna be in there. So, here I am, I'm looking at this. I finally figure out where to price both of them. I go ahead and I price first the Star Trek one. And I price the Star Trek one at $1,995. Boom, I put that up. Second one I price is the Raiders of the Lost Ark at $3,995. All 
I put both of them up, okay? So now you know I've got one up for 2,000, one up for 4,000. Up comes my first offer. Within five minutes, I get an offer. I get an offer on the uh, uh, Star Trek one for $1,000. I'm gonna show you the message I also got from this particular buyer. This is the buyer. Please accept, I need this. That's all he writes. He's got 112 feedback. His name is Pokemo Kid. And long story short with this guy, hold on one second here. Um, I knew right off the bat this was a little suspicious. Just It just seemed suspicious, $1,000. And uh, I wasn't gonna take that, obviously. It was too fast, it was too soon, and it was a little suspicious. So, all of a sudden, by the time I read this one, I got a second message. The second message now is on my um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And now I get this one. He puts in an offer of like $2,000 on the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And it says, please accept, I need this. It's my birthday. So the same guy, he's on this one and he's on this one. He's on both the tapes. Now again, now you start to see, right? All this stuff starts to play in my mind. Here we go, it's all a big scam. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna be scammed here, or there are, this is the, here comes the start of it, right? Here comes the start of it. So lo and behold, lo and behold, right off the bat, we get, after, I, after he's on there, and I'm, I'm, now I'm really ignoring him, we're gonna show you, we dug down on him, but we'll show you and him in a second. All of a sudden, bang, I get a notification. Raiders of the Lost Ark has sold $3,995. My first thought was it was that guy. It was that guy. Did he just go back in and buy it? Oh, now I'm, you know, my head's spinning. I'm seeing this going on, right? And so I, I click, and the, the feedback on this particular buyer was 6,100. Very high feedback. Been an eBayer since 1998. 6,000 positive, 100% positive. So I'm like, wow, okay, maybe I got something here, right? Not a couple minutes later, a couple minutes later, all of a sudden, I get another ping. The Star Trek one comes with an offer, and the offer was for $1,500. Now, I knew this one was probably a little bit high, believe it or not, I thought this one might be a tad high. So $1,500. And I accepted that offer, and then he went ahead and paid. Now, he had feedback of 2,000 plus, all positive. So now I've got two solid-looking um, uh, solds here. I've got two solid solds, but I'm still just very skeptical, right, because of all those little messages I got. And to show you, I got another one afterwards. I got this other one from another guy, and this one says here, it says, hey, Indiana Jones, we can do that deal for 15,000. Message me back. Now, I had already sold it for 4,000, and this is what popped up. But what's even weirder about this, this guy went into my store, he found this DVD, and he bought it. He bought it, it was like a $20 DVD. So that was strange. So all these little strange things are happening around these two VHS tapes, right? So uh, I've now got these two tapes. I've boxed them. I've uh, put them on second day air, um, all that kind of stuff. I've double boxed them. I videotape, and it's at the end, I'm going to have the videotape. It's just going to be a fast forward, but of showing me uh, putting them in the box. I'm videotaping them just for my own safety purposes here so I don't get scammed. They say, hey, I didn't ship it. It's going to be on the YouTube side, so it'll be out there, and this guy can't say, hey, you didn't ship it, whatever, that kind of thing. So I'm still, you see, I'm still thinking about being scammed here. So interesting. So let's take a look at a couple of things here real quick. Let's go back and look at our guy who tried to scam us. And this is how you got to check yourself to see if a guy is a scammer. You got to go to their feedback. You have to go back and take a look at this first guy, this Pokemo kid. He's got 112 feedback. Remember the guy who bought mine was 6,000 and the other guy was 2,000. This guy's 112. Now here's why a lot of people hate eBay and why eBay just every time gets gets these bad these bad reviews, all that kind of stuff. And that's because of the way if you're a seller, you cannot leave a negative on the buyer. 
Your only option is to leave a positive and then write something in the comments. That's the only thing you can do. And that's what people were doing under this guy's feedback. So if you're a new person or a new seller and you don't know that and you just say, hey, gosh, he's going to offer me $1,000. I'm going to take it. You would have taken it. And this, what would, this is what would have happened to you. Basically, this guy was not going to pay you. Just another scammer, who knows, just gets his thrills doing this. Why is this account still up and valid with eBay is beyond me. That's because I bet you eBay just sees all these positive, never sees the negative. Who knows if any of these people reported him. I'm going to report him. That's what I'm going to do. So that's definitely going to happen. But if you take a look at this negative rating, I wish I read this guy's rating. Not only did he not pay and ghost me afterwards, he tried getting me to make side deals on inventory behind eBay's back. Down here, buyer made an offer and stopped all communications on eBay. Never paid. This is definitely a buyer you want to avoid. But there's a better one down here. This one is, look at this one and how this fits me to a T. Seller, read this. This buyer is not going to pay pay you. He will not pay. He sent a message about his birthday after a lowball offer. There you go. So this guy was a scammer. Flat out a scammer. He's still on eBay. You know, he's given me doubt, right? He gave me doubt on what was happening to me. Fortunately, I did sell both of them. I've talked to a lot of other people on Instagram who say, hey, they've sold several uh, VHS for $1,800, $1,200. We know Kevin sold one for $1,750. So these look legit, but I will not be happy until I get either positive feedback or months down the road, uh, something here. So it's going to be interesting. I will have to keep you up to date on how this all shakes out. Uh, I'm not saying I'm still skeptical, but I'm still a little leery until this is all completely, completely done. That's just me. That's just the way I am. Now, if it is all legit, there is one thing that probably I did that's wrong, and that Raiders of the Lost Ark is probably priced too low. It's probably priced too low. How can you say that? A $4,000 tape probably priced, priced too low? It might have been. It might have been. We're going to know if this guy either flips it or does something like that. We'll find out. More power to him. Hey, if he wants to take it and flip it and he can flip it, uh, I have no problem with that. Obviously, it's his tape, that kind of thing. So it's interesting. We're going to find out. So at the end, is this going to be the video probably fast forward with shipping? Nothing nothing fancy to watch. It's just going to be kind of skipping through it. So anyhow, hey, thank you again, everybody who's watched all my videos. Hopefully, this one will give you a little bit of insight into the VHS tape world. Uh, watch Don's video. Go back and watch his video on uh, his channel, Top 20 VHS Movies. Take a look at that. All right, guys. Hey, thanks again, and we will see you next time.